Welcome, friends, to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This is a after-hours special ticketing event here at Magic Kingdom. We've actually never done this party before, but think of this as your ultimate guide to the party, because we're going to show you everything that there is to do. Wait, you mean this isn't a Festivus party? There's, there's no airing of grievances or feats of strength? Let, let's... Let's go um, do Christmas things. <laughs> Dang. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This is a special ticketed after hours event that happens here at Disney's Magic Kingdom Park. This happens on select nights from November 9th through December 22nd. And as mentioned before, you do have to purchase the special tickets for this event. Prices are gonna range from $159 to $199 for adults and $149 to $189 for children ages three to nine. If your kids are under three, they are free. There are also some discounts available for annual pass holders DVC members and military eligible discounts. Typically parties that are going to be on the weekends will be more on that higher end of the price range as well as dates that are closer to the actual holidays whereas weekdays are going to be towards the lower end of those price ranges. Nights have already and still will be selling out so if you are planning on attending this party this year you need to act fast and purchase your tickets now. What's great is you don't actually need a regular day ticket to attend this party. Your special ticket will do just fine. However, if you do have a day ticket, usually the crowds can be a little bit lower during the day. It can be a really great way to get the most experience out of Magic Kingdom. Let's talk about checking into the party. Guests who have a party ticket can enter the park as early as 4 p.m. The party, however, does not officially start until 7 p.m. If you do not have a regular day ticket, you're just gonna check in at the front of the park, just like you normally would scanning in. You'll get your wristband, you'll get your little party guide map, and you'll be ready to go for the party. If you're already in the park for the day, if you do have like a regular day ticket in addition to your special ticket, then you can check out one of the check-in locations inside of the park. Usually these are gonna be located in Adventureland right across from Pirates of the Caribbean or Tomorrowland right across from Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Or if you're at the back of the park, you can also visit Mickey's Philhar Magic and that's also a check-in location. These wristbands are very important. This is your ticket into the party. They will start checking for these wristbands after the park closes at 6 p.m. So if you don't have one of these, they will kick you out so you need to make sure you get your wristband. And that also means no, you cannot sneak into the party if you don't have a party ticket. Something that I do love that they do for the Christmas party special is you also get this complimentary little ornament. This year it's one of the toy soldiers and this is a really fun little memento, souvenir, whatever, and it comes complimentary with your ticket. And really special, they do have the years on these ornaments. So if you're someone that comes to the Christmas party year after year, these are a really great way to kind of commemorate the years that you came. One of the most important things that you can do to make sure you have a successful Christmas party, besides watching this video, of course, is your party guide. Make sure you kind of study this when you first get it, because not only does it have all the treats, but it also has things like character meet and greets, where those are located, and show times, you name it. Not only is the party this year just extra beautiful, but it's a nice little keepsake as well. But again, make sure you really look this over and strategize what you want to do, because at the end of the day, the likelihood of you being able to accomplish everything in this guide is nearly impossible. I have yet to hear anyone say that they've done everything possible to do at the party. celebrate the holidays. Oh, but this year, I want to create a special holiday surprise for my friends. And I need a little help. Little siblings, powder and crystal and squalor and tat and William. Everyone's here. Time to get 
decorate the castle! Ooh, don't forget the banner! Perfect. <laughs> oh, fruitcake. Hola. Oh, here come my friends! Everyone, hide! Hola. How you spell happy holidays. Well, it's what makes the holiday season so special. Oh, I know. Is it presents? Uh, it's something better than gifts. Must be sweet. <laughs> no. Games? Not that either. Well, what else is there? Time with those we love. Who oh, Elsa? Being able to share a special moment with family and friends is what makes this season our favorite time of year. One of the shows that you can experience both during the party and during normal park hours is the Frozen Holiday Surprise. We like to call this the castle lighting ceremony because it kind of shows like the projections showing on the castle. They used to do the dream lights in the past and this was kind of like how they would like light the castle, but now it's projections. It's a very cute show. They've kind of updated it for this year. My pro tip is to go ahead and do the 615 showing so that you're not having to waste precious party time to see the show. It it does happen a couple times throughout the night, but the 615 one is still tech during like regular park time. So this is the one that I would go to. One of my favorite things about the Christmas party is that everyone dresses up, not to the extent of like Jollywood Nights. And in case you haven't seen that video, we'll link that in the description box below. It's not necessarily like dressing to the nines like that, but be sure to wear your holiday best. That could be like, I'm just wearing a green button down and Kayla's wearing a red tank top. Think Christmas colors or holiday colors. You can also wear like spirit jerseys, pajamas. I do put a little asterisk next to those because keep in mind it is still Florida after all. So it could be 80 degrees, but it also could be in the 50s. So be sure to check the weather and plan accordingly because it's Florida after all. Who knows what the weather is going to do. Make sure you are still adhering to Disney's dress code. So costumes are a no-go for this. If you wanted to wear a costume, that's what Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is for. For more information about Disney's dress code, that website is linked in the description box below. One of the attractions that you can ride during the Christmas party is Tron. Keep in mind though that it is still a virtual queue that drops at 6 p.m. So if you are wanting to do that, I do recommend getting on the app right at 6 and ready to hit join. If you're someone that A, hasn't done Tron yet, or B, hasn't done it at night, I do really recommend taking a little bit of time out of your party to do it. And if you do do it, and you haven't done it at nighttime, I definitely suggest waiting for front row at night because it's incredible. Let's talk rides. One of the awesome things about this event is that since there's no Genie Plus and because there's reduced capacity in the parks, ride wait times are going to be a lot lower during the party. In addition to that, there are some select rides that have some awesome overlays to make them extra special for the holiday. Space Mountain has some really cool red and green lights and holiday music as you're going. You've got the Tomorrowland Speedway with some really cool lit up de decorations. You've got Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor with some fun holiday jokes. One of our personal favorites, Jingle Cruise, which is the Jungle Cruise. And then they have like some funny holiday jokes, of course. That one's actually available during the daytime too. And the teacups. So the teacups, kind of same sort of thing. They'll have some fun holiday music and a fun lighting package. So definitely make sure you check out at least a few of those special offerings, like Jungle Jingle Cruise. Like that, that one is my favorite. But we are going to try and do some of these later tonight.
Another thing that happens during the party is dance parties. Right behind me in Tomorrowland on the Tomorrowland stage is Club Tinsel. They have characters such as Chip and Dale, and they also have Nick and Judy from Zootopia. This is a fun, loud dance party that you definitely want to be sure to check out during the party. They do also have another dance party located inside at Cosmic Rays. That one is the Dizzy Junior Jingle Jam Dance Party. That one is a tongue twister for sure. for those cookie trails or cookie stops. Mainly you're just gonna be looking for these big candy cane looking pylons. And if you do have food allergies, don't be afraid to ask for the allergy friendly cookie options. They will have those at some of the locations. If merchandise is something that you're looking for and you're looking for a party exclusive merchandise, there are two places in the park that you're gonna be able to find it. The Emporium, which is at the main gift shop at the front of the park, I'll be honest though, it can get really, really, really crazy there since that's the one that everyone goes to. The other one you can visit is Star Traders here in Tomorrowland. They also carry the, carry the party exclusive merch. They'll usually have that stuff out a little bit before 7 p.m. So don't be afraid to hit this first. Do keep in mind that a lot of times things like the t-shirts and things like that, they could sell out of certain sizes. So I personally recommend hitting this up at the beginning of the night. And then if you don't want to carry it all night long, you can always get a locker to put it in up at the front. Just don't forget to get your stuff before you go home. We have made it inside to Cosmic Rays for our second cookie stop of the night. This one is a snickerdoodle. I thought it, I'm a little sad. I thought it was like a ginger snap cookie, ginger cookie, gingerbread cookie, that's the word. But it's a snickerdoodle and hot chocolate. And the nice thing about Cosmic Rays during the party is that they do mobile order, which I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Mobile order is a little bit new to these parties. They do mobile order here at Cosmic Rays, Casey's Corner, and also Pecos Bill during the party. As far as party exclusive food here at Cosmic Rays, they have a holiday pot roast meal, which is slow cooked beef on thick toast with cheddar and provolone, cheddar and provolone cheese and beef gravy. And they also have a holiday turkey burger. That's a turkey burger topped with traditional stuffing, provolone cheese, and cranberry chutney on a brioche bun. And they also have the Christmas cookie cake. Basically, it's a cake with buttercream and sprinkles. I am gonna try this melt, because this looks so good. Oh, she messy. That's really good. The pot roast is so tender. If you've had a barbecue brisket, but like pot roast grilled cheese, that's exactly what it tastes like. That's so good. That's so good. And I'm gonna try this turkey burger. I'm on, I'll be honest, it looks really good and really like not good all at the same time. So, we'll see. That is really good. The flavors are really good. I'll be honest that the turkey patty is pretty like meh, very basic, but all of the toppings and everything else on it make this really, really good. I'm gonna give this cake a try too. It tastes very similar to just like a Swiss roll, but not chocolate. It's very sugary. The frosting is very, very sugary, but you know, it's a fun little treat. What are we doing? We're riding Tomorrowland Speedway. Christmas edition. Christmas edition. We're not number one. 
Only Donald is the other one. Mary Chrysler. Oh wait, this isn't a Chrysler. Christmas, a broken down car. This Orlando traffic man, I tell ya. Thank you. Thank you. At Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, you'll find tons and tons of character meet and greets. And a lot of these characters are pretty rare, such as like Tweedledee and Tweedledum, Santa Goofy, and even a bunch of the other like Fab Five characters in their Christmas getup. We came back here to Storybook Circus and they have seriously a lot of characters back here. They have the Seven Dwarves, Santa Goofy, and then they have Minnie and Daisy and Donald and Scrooge. Here in Dumbo is where you'll find four of those characters. They do kind of interchange, so do keep that in mind. We just met Santa Goofy. It's a very fun meet and greet. I gave him a cookie. I don't think that got on camera. I think the cast member accidentally stopped recording. That's okay. But we at least got a picture of it that we'll insert here. Do keep in mind though, if it's an extremely rare character, such as Jack and Sally, up at the front of the park in Town Square Theater, they do actually start meeting before the party starts. So do keep that in mind, and definitely my recommendation is to get in line as soon as you get here. <laughs> nope, it's all, it's all right. Thank you. After the character meet and greets, we watched the fireworks, and now we are waiting for the parade, and we have a treat. This is from Casey's Corner. This is the candy cane tart. It basically has like a peppermint, like mousse something on top of a chocolate tart. It looks very messy. It's a very, very strong peppermint flavor. You definitely have to like peppermint, because that's like very overpowering. It's almost too much. Yeah, I'd say skip this one. 
There are several live entertainment show type offerings during the party. The most notable, of course, is the mini fireworks celebration palooza. I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically the fireworks of the night. These do only happen one time per night, and these do happen in place of Happily Ever After, so just be aware that if you're here to see Happily Ever After, you will be disappointed. This show is a lot of fun. Uh, something else that we also learned that if there is some high wind or kind of weird weather, they will close off Storybook Circus during the fireworks. So we found this out. We were in line for some characters, and they were like, hey, we gotta make sure that we're done by this certain time, otherwise Otherwise, you will get stuck in that building and you can't come out until the fireworks are done since they do perimeter fireworks. So be aware that if you are trying to do some character meet and greets back there, make sure you do it plenty of time like before fireworks or after fireworks. As far as viewing for the fireworks, pretty much anywhere down Main Street or up in the hub is a great place to watch. You can see the projections, you can see the fireworks, and of course they pump the music all the way through. Along with the fireworks, there's also a live stage show with Mickey, Minnie, the whole gang. Uh, that happens several times throughout the night. You can check your uh, party guide to see what times those are. So definitely make sure you check that out. That you will want to be close to the castle stage so that you can see. And then there is also the uh, Christmas time parade. This is super iconic, very, very popular. This happens twice throughout the night. Uh, there's an earlier parade and a later parade, kind of sandwiching the fireworks. The parade route starts in Frontierland. It goes through, down through Liberty Square. It goes in front of the hub, like kind of right in front of the castle right down Main Street and then it, that is kind of where it ends right here by the train station. Anywhere is going to be a good viewing location. However, something to keep in mind as far as like time and how much time you are like using for the parade, because it starts in Frontierland, you are going to watch the parade first and get done first while everyone here down in Main Street is still waiting for the parade to come. If you are wanting to come and watch on, on Main Street, which is kind of like the iconic place to watch, yes, it's very cool, but just be aware you're going to be sitting here, like, if the parade starts at 11, you will be sitting here until 11.30 before the parade actually gets to you. So just keep that in mind so that you're not wasting precious party time if there are other things that you're wanting to do. party that was really fun that was our very first time ever doing the christmas party and i had a blast it was seriously such a fun fun party i don't know if we loved it as much as the halloween party but don't get us wrong it was still very fun yes i think that this is a awesome 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 addition to your disney world vacation if you are traveling in the month of november or december there is a ton to do and i've got about 80 cookies in my bag to take home. And as I said earlier, we had a list of stuff that we wanted to do and we did not get it all done. We so were close. We, we were close. We were very close. There were some snacks that we wanted to try that we didn't get to try. And but we didn't do Jingle Cruise, but we can come back another day during the daytime and ride Jingle Cruise. So we'll show you guys that another day. I did do Space Mountain, which I highly, highly recommend. We didn't show you because you can't film on that. Christmas monorail. 
Space Mountain is all decked out. They have like red and green lights all over and then they blast, blast Christmas music throughout. Definitely, definitely a fun time. I highly recommend checking it out. And my last pro tip I want to leave you with is to save your memory maker photos or save your photos until the end of the night. A, so you're not eating up party time, but also the, it's a lot less busy and you can get some really amazing photos without a ton of people in the background. And don't forget to ask those memory maker photo pass people for the magic shots because there's some really fun Christmas ones. Overall, we hope you guys enjoyed following along with us tonight. And now that I've about lost my voice, that's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever after. after. Right on Space Mountain I've ever had. Oh my had. god, where's your picture? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so funny. It's so bright in there. It's basically like almost riding Space Mountain with the lights on. And I felt like I was the, literally the only person on Space Mountain. Oh, Highly god. recommend. I just see Mark Allen car by himself. I'm like, what happened? I'm like Santa, I'm full of cookies. <laughs> <laughs>